Hello, and uh, welcome to episode 35 of the Day Podcast, which is a uh, weekly K-pop podcast that we ha- uh, host each week, where we obviously, we usually do some album reviews, uh, we also bring some topics of discussion to the table, and as always, I'm joined by Nate. This is a pretty good one this week. After school playgirls know how to get fresh, so cool, so right just so tasty we bring it fast forward the fellas go crazy was that back really up, is that, wait, wait. after school oh, that was in bang it was in bang oh okay okay oh uh, yeah i was about to say i haven't heard that one before <laughs> i'm honestly i'm pretty like not very good with my after school like i know a few songs and that's like my limit of my knowledge about like oh really yeah i followed music. i followed most after school stuff yeah, like I know the members and stuff. I just don't know like a lot of their music. I the guess. Songs, yeah. Yeah. I just flashback anyway. so good. Listen to flashback. Also, and shampoo. As always, we have Andrew, who has two things, three things. I mean, <laughs> two. One U.S. game was a disaster. They lost two nothing. So that was fun. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It's freaking. It's it's. Just Costa can't win, Rica. Andrew. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've I've never I've never seen the U.S. win. Every time I see them in person my fault <laughs> um number two i did I, we had there was nothing interesting during labor day weekend so like my entire family just started watching death note not the not the movie the actual anime of death note. it's just hilarious though you got your yeah it's your really bad watching anime <laughs> yeah um and on a more, more serious note um by the time this goes up uh hurricane irma will have run through florida uh, i have a lot of invested interest there uh I've been staying up way too late tracking this thing because it might be on a, a track headed towards Tampa and I have a, a lot of my extended family is there, my cousins, my grandmother. So, yeah, um, think about all of them down there. So hopefully they pull through just fine and I just really hope they all make it through safe. Yep. Also, the Patriots lost. <laughs> remember what happened, uh, again, remember what happened last time they lost to the Chiefs. Last time they lost uh, to the Chiefs, uh, last time they lost to the Chiefs, they ended up winning the Super Bowl. So it's it's a good luck charm. Maybe it's a good omen. Not yeah, a bad it's a one. Good omen. Every time they lose their their the first game of the season, they they always seem to win the Super Bowl. So I'm not too worried. All right, and I would have a blown out quote, but it's all the way over there on the the shelf, and I don't want to dig it up. <laughs> so I'll have it next week. <laughs> Just make something up that sounds emo and inspirational at the same time. Water is wet. Here, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Andrew's good, got blown out. As good as it gets isn't the optimistic thought it pretends to be. As good as it you gets. You guys are horrible. I can't, I can't, I can't. I've never been able to snap my entire life. It's this is the lot I can do. It's not hard at all. This is the lot I can do. I, sh- I can't do it, I can't do it. Alright. Anyways, let's. Uh, I guess we can get right into the first topic, which will be the album review. Of Hyuna's baby, no following. Yes, following album it's called, is called following. following. Okay, yes. the, uh, the the title track title is baby. Yeah. So as we hinted at last week when we talked about it a little bit, we said we would review uh, Hyuna's album, and so here we are. First track is "Party," "Follow Me," featuring Wusok of Pentagon, and it's like pretty traditional Hyuna hip-hop dance track yeah this is like, yep. like i was like yeah this is what hiana does were, yeah if you were to go look in the dictionary and look up and like the definition of hiana song this would be there like it, it yeah it's standard fair i mean not bad it's just we've heard no. it a lot before i like the uh though i will say i like the sample in the beginning it's like i thought that was cool um i don't even remember yeah. what it was it was like the it's like the, somebody babbling like ah blah, 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 blah. like <laughs> Weird, yeah. I don't know it was it okay. reminded me of gorillas so also, yeah I thought the, it was cool. Also like the the beat is like really like West Coast hip hop it has like ele- yep. it's like really like it's like these really like funky electric keys so yeah it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, next is the title track which Jacob said earlier was Bebe. Bebe. Um, like Big. No, it's Bebe in Korean. Um. So, I think the MV is horrible. I hate the I MV. Thought it's, I think it's really I cool. It's, I like it. Right, I'll let you two really find this out. <laughs> like if it, I don't know. It just fits my aesthetic, I guess. I like the low-budget, like, mm-hmm. special effects feel of it, I guess. I don't know. I, 
I was just like, this is like, I don't know. I, 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 I understand why you like it. And it's the reason I don't like it. It's just, it looks like it was, it's like, it just reminds me of, of very good. It's just like oh. it's so low budget looking and <laughs> no, like very good. It's, 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 honestly, hey, this was very, good, very good. MV this was in good focus footage. actually. They didn't color correct and they used iMovie to edit it. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, no, that's bad. I know, but like it just like that whole like it just looked like it was a mess and like I want more cohesion from my music videos, I guess. Hmm. In terms of the song, it's not what I expected from Hyuna for a single, and I. Th- think like when i first watched the music video i didn't really like the song like i hated the music video but like i thought the song was just meh i think i like it more listening to it without the music video yeah i think think that just like like the music video me not liking it just bled into me like not liking the song but i think the chorus like goes overstays its welcome it like goes a little too long like if it gets a like K-pop's repetitive, but it just got like annoyingly yeah. repetitive. And I mean, I think it's because she's just saying what her age is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah it's like trying to be IU. Okay, up I guess in like, here. like like I lo- <laughs> I did some like deep diving into this song because I kind I listened to a bit of uh, uh, Peter Lowe's uh, podcast, the K-pop cast, because they yeah they, yeah because like there's like there's a whole bunch of like articles that are breaking down oh the inner deep the the inner workings of the the meaning of this song. So basically, I guess it's just like <laughs> her com- I, like her com- I, like. like it's supposedly a commentary on like i guess just like how she keeps growing older but everyone wants her to keep acting like younger sexy so, young. yeah you're really like, yeah Cute. just yeah I, or just like again and i guess a commentary on the entire genre itself where just like again sexy concepts kind of dead where basically if you everyone's a schoolgirl, even if they're like 25 <laughs> which yeah. makes no sense yeah but, right now and yeah so basically that's why it's that's I guess that's uh, why like the age it keeps going down. It's like oh I'm 26, 25, like 21, 18, 15, that, that sort of thing. So basically it's just like, or and it's so so sort of plays into the theming of the music video where like she's on like a little tricycle or whatever or like yeah, be, be, they're trying to I guess it's trying to get across that message. But again, I I appreciate having Shana being able to do something like with deeper meaning in her music. I guess it's just, it it, it kind of comes across as, as half-baked in a way. I guess, like, the, I wish the production was be- was better than, I, I wish the production would lo- match the level of, like, I, like, the, the moral or, like, the, the meaning of the song. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just, it just didn't, it just didn't seem like it matched up to me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Overall, I, th- I like the song. I think, like Nate said, the, the chorus kind of overstays its welcome, but. As I listened to it more, I got used to it a lot more. Well, I mean, yeah, so don't get me wrong. It's it just catchy. had to grow on me. Yeah, well, it's like, for example, catchy. like, I bring this example up a lot. Like, Exo's Wolf, I hated that song when I first heard it. And now it's, it's one of my favorite Exo songs. I still, songs hate, it. I still hate it. I'm sorry. I'm, in, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a huge Exo fan, but no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I think, um, like, well, I guess one of my major gripes with this song, I, I guess there's only so much you can do with Shana. It's, I guess. Like I again, I don't, I don't, I appreciate her taking a different style. Like it's not a typical sexy song, and it's not just like that, like that kind of like whiny ish rapping that we're yeah. sort of used to her doing. But I, speaking of the whiny ish rapping, I guess I wish she'd do something more like something off of her Bubble Pop album, like a Bitter Day. That was so good. Oh Yo, God, Bitter Day is my favorite. The yes. best song. Yeah, it's yeah, easily the favorite. best Yana song. Yeah. yeah, like I wish she do something like that. Like, like as she, like the ballad. Yana's track best song album, is you know? is sung half by Gino. <laughs> yeah, which is funny, but um. <laughs> well, she raps. She only raps in that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah only the, raps. And, and that's, that's the thing, though, because like with softer songs, she can pull that off, I guess. And in a way, this is a softer song, so she doesn't. I guess that's why they went with a vocal focus. But the thing is, though, like to be completely honest, like. Kiana's vocals aren't necessarily the strongest. Like, like yeah. there's a there's like yeah. sort of this bridge part where she's like, da 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 da. Where, but her voice sounds almost like a kid, like really straining to hit the high notes. And like, yeah, it's, I I like. Well, the cl- I think I like honestly, the- she's kind of like if you in like a like a Britney Spears sort of situation as far as like vocal talent. 
versus like performance stage performance yeah, talent yeah, no, and stuff I mean, like that. I, I call this um I call this the Selena Gomez effect because back in the yeah, day, I like that too. Yeah, yeah, Selena Gomez's early music. And I'm again, I haven't really listened to her much lately, but a lot of her early music was just really, really like high keys. And when she'd sing it live, she'd be almost be whispering, and she could barely get the notes out. So yeah, it it seems like Shana's in a sort of situation, same situation where like, um. Like the song doesn't seem like it, or it's just outside of her vocal range. But I mean, it, what can you do? It's K-pop. Um, I guess the, yep. the uh, as in terms of the catchiness, it's because uh, it was written by Shin Sung Dong Tiger, aka the guy oh, who wrote Bubble yes. Top, Bubble Pop. So, dude, I miss that guy so much. Like Yo. after he stopped making four minutes music, I was like, come back, please, because <laughs> he made all my favorite four minute songs, like I My Me Mine, Hit Your Heart, uh, 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 or Huh. My, uh. <laughs> Yeah, mirror, mirror, stuff like that. Yeah, so like, it, 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 it's right up his alley. Where basically, it's it's the whole focus of the song is just a ridiculously catchy chorus, or just like some yeah. element of the song that's just repeated uh, over and over again. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. That one just didn't do it for me, though. Yeah, it was. It was alright. Like I love all those four minute songs, but yeah, it just it was alright. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, next is purple or Borasek. <laughs> Uh, featuring Edon of Pentagon. AKA, so right off the bat, oh good. AKA it's it's two thirds of Triple H. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Right off the bat, I could not stand him. I, he it sounds like he he was trying to be an early two thousands like emo <laughs> rock band. Or no, it like, sounds like he's trying to do like. No, it doesn't. To me, it sounds like he's trying to be like a two, early two thousands like rock singer, like that whiny rock singer voice, and then they just auto tuned it to hell. Yeah, and I was weird. just like, this is, this, I, I, like, I couldn't, I thought the song would have been really good if he wasn't in it at all, but <laughs> okay. I couldn't stand the song because of it. Oh, like, I it's just, I, I, it. I don't like it at all. I think half the reason why I like this song is because the beat sounds like the Wii menu, like the, the shop. I like the music. instrumentals in it. <laughs> yeah, like, it's a really, it has a really catchy beat and everything. It, it's, it's a lot more fun. Then, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What it's, I it's, typically it's, hear it's very Yana, bouncy. Yeah, yeah, it's like it, it's like a really like a ball. Like, it's like really goofy hip hop, which you really wouldn't you wouldn't expect that from Hyuna because almost everything she, she does usually she makes either, bangers. Yeah. She either makes bangers, something serious, or something sexy, or some type of mix of both. This is yeah. Mm. This sound again. This sounds more G Dragon esque, where like something off of his, yes, yes, something off of his Kwon Ji Young album, where it's just like just like really just like really or even uh, I think you find something like this on like. Like uh, one of kind, either too. Mm, definitely. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I actually yeah, like this song. yeah. I just, I just couldn't get over Edon's voice <laughs> and how they, <laughs> what they did to it, and I don't know. I like the instrumentals. I like Yana's parts, but mm. that just ruined it for me. Uh, next is Dart, which is Tropical House. So I instantly like it. Well, yeah, because again. Tiana was kind of ahead of it, cause she, cause this is almost like a sequel to her song "You and Me," off of uh, her 2016 album "Awesome." So yeah, mm. very, very similar thing. So yeah, I mean, 2016 they weren't that heavy on Tropical House just yet, but it's this year it's really exploded. So yeah, 2017 definitely. Yeah, but you know, she mm-hmm. she does it well. She does it well, and I mean like. I get the I definitely get like the Hyuna vibe or like the Triple H vibe in like the production because yeah. this sounds like this sounds like never or like the uh, the one one song so you you can definitely tell yeah. the influence in it. That that and this song doesn't sound like just generic tropical house to me, you know. Yeah, like, there's some differences to, to it. Like well, like they'll... you said, you can still hear you can still feel Hyuna's hand in the work. Wait, well, because yeah, because yeah, yeah. again, like I I think what works well because I th- I like this style of Hyuna singing better where again it's a softer yeah, song same. so she can almost be like whispering when she's like delivering her vocals so she doesn't have to strain her voice as much as like when she was like on Bebe when she was trying to hit those high notes so yeah she could almost yeah. sing in falsetto and probably yeah, sound the same, yeah, yeah. yeah. It basically so. it works it works well with the style the like the style of music so yeah I, I, I see why she keeps this is like her bread and butter at this point so yeah yep. really yep. solid song um uh... And last but not least is, uh, nope, not Boomerang, that's later. Um, <laughs> it's Mir, which is a uh, ja- uh, Jahua song. Jahua song. Um, it's another song I really, really like the instrumentals. Um, and I thought this showed off, you know, like you said, this is another song that like fits her singing style a lot better. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so yeah, I really I like. I definitely like the latter half of this album or this mini album a lot better than. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I like maybe, it's just, maybe it's just maybe it's just maybe it's just because I have a uh or I, like Hyuna bangers are like. Oh, like good and all, but like I, yeah. I, I do appreciate when Hyuna do, like shows off like her actual like vocal talent. Like again, it's getting mm. it's, it's getting to the point where again everyone's trying to copy like Hyuna's exact like singing style. I mean, we had that freaking what is her name Miso that's literally yeah. like, trying to be a Hyuna clone. So it's kind of getting old at this point. But yeah, this part yeah. of Hyuna, I still uh, I, I definitely appreciate still. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah, for me. Yeah, this is also my favorite song. That's what I was about to say. Oh, I, I, um, I still have to give it to Dart. It's to Dart, Dart, yeah. yeah. I, it, they're, they're close together for me, but yeah, I same. think I like Mirror more just because of the vibe, I guess, I get from it. Also, I think if they did a music video for this, I think it'd be awesome. Like, yeah, no, this something similar to, like, video. yeah, something similar to, like, cards, like, don't recall, like, in a visual aesthetic, yeah. like, with the lighting and stuff. Yeah, I think it'd be nothing, awesome. Nothing too crazy. It doesn't have to be, like, the, like, how Baby had, like, the, like, crazy like yeah CG the green screen stuff yeah green screen stuff so yeah i think it would have worked well with this yeah would you have picked a different title track other than baby though that's, that's um i, I that's would have i would have went with party over baby yeah i would have went with party it or it's dark or party or dark yeah same like i think Either party would be one fit, that could easily yeah, yeah i think party would easily one that pe <laughs> they could sell so I think yeah, that's that'd probably the, be what I pick. It's an interesting choice as to why they went with Baby. I guess it's just because it has it, it carries the most weight in terms of like the meaning and everything. But yeah, that it, and it has the, the the really memorable like hook in the chorus because that's what Korea like looks for yeah, a lot in their music it's nowadays. Like, it's, it's very everything's hook based because a lot of it's just like R and B or EDM inspired. So but yeah, if this was if we were expecting any song, it'd probably be Party. If I was to have my way, it would be Dart. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. So. I would have went with a double NV between Dart and Mirror. I think it'd be really cool. Yeah, that, that, that would have worked. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I definitely wouldn't have had Bebe. Um, so overall, uh, for me, I the only song I just didn't like Purple, like I, mostly because of Edon. So I gave it 5 out of 6 for songs. I gave it a 1 out of 3 for presentation, though, because I hated the MV so much. <laughs> and then a 1 out of 1. So 7. 7. Oh, um, Andrew? Yeah. Well, I I, guess I also gave it a seven, but four out of six for music and two out of three for concept. I I had to give like a one point for concept because again, I I do appreciate Jenna adding a like a deeper meaning into her songs again, so, or this time around. But again, it doesn't the concept didn't seem fully realized, so I couldn't give it a three. And obviously, bias mm -hmm. point, so seven. Yeah, so I gave it a uh, I gave it a four out of six for music just because the first three tracks didn't. Well, except for Babe, I I like Babe actually, but the it's kind of just between like one i like one i like two and i like three but none of them blew me yeah. away i guess it's, so like, i gave it a four out of six for the music i liked i really like dart and mirror so i'll actually be listening to those songs yeah and then two out of three for the mv because it's low budget like you can tell it's low production value for the music video but i really like the aesthetic so i gave it the extra point and then uh, obviously one for bias point because I love Yana. So, yeah. <laughs> so, and so mm -hmm. seven. Yeah, because like I, I guess that's just like the the perfect place to put it ranking wise, where it's it's not horrible. It just didn't blow anything away. It's like it's Yana's batting three hundred basically when it comes to this album to to make a baseball analogy. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. Yeah. Wait, we all give it a seven, right? Yeah, that's a yeah. seven. So. All right. Cool. So that'll give it Easy seal math. approval, right? Uh yeah. yes yeah seven seven, to uh, seven, eight, seven eight, 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 eight is yeah nine seal ten approval and nine and ten is truly is a truly Daybok album all right so yep. yeah yep. yeah it's a it's a solid album still worth still worth listening to but yeah nothing really blows away yep yep Andrew you wanted to talk about this it's the most Asian <laughs> fuckboy thing I've ever seen <laughs> flex flex I'm just like oh shut up shut up please <laughs> that's funny. God, they, this um, pissed me off so much because I, I I see hundreds of people like this every goddamn day. <laughs> Makes you wanna